Greetings, fellow Human Aid user. I am Unit V1369420, and I will be your guide into the world of AI. Today, we will take a moment to query your knowledge database about Shaky, the first autonomous robot made by humans. The project from which Shaky was born was aimed to add research in robotics, computer vision, and natural language processing. It took six years to develop this beauty, and we have Charlie Rosen as the project manager and the rest of his team to thank for that. This project brought great advancements in the field of AI such as the A-Star algorithm, but we will talk about that after we discuss the basics. In order for Shaky to achieve anything, it must first be able to perform the simplest of actions. These are called low-level actions and consist of simple movements like rolling forward 10 centimeters or rotating 50 degrees clockwise. To do this, it makes use of the motors and sensor it has, but since the hardware of the time was so limited, the resulting movements were very shaky. Combining multiple low-level actions with some extra logic, and we get intermediary actions. An example of such an action is proved to be. When receiving such command, Shaky needs to rotate such that he is facing the location B, and then move forwards until it reaches the place. But that is not all. As Shaky is smart enough to not run into an obstacle before moving, Shaky will survey its surrounding using its camera, and if there is an obstacle in the way, it will try to avoid it. Now that we have the basic functionality of Shaky sorted out, let's have a look at some higher level decisions that it can do. Shaky uses the Stanford Research Institute Problem Solver, also known as STRIPS, to compute a solution. Given a beginning state and a goal, STRIPS will find the quickest combination of actions in order to reach the goal. This sounds pretty Pretty cool, right? Indeed it does, but we still have a long way to go in order to make Shaky reach his goal. We can't just tell a metal box on wheels to go somewhere in English and expect it to do just that, right? At that time you couldn't, but the smart researchers decided to work on that and they thought Shaky English. Uh, not really. But they were able to make it process simple instructions such as move the box and block the door, thus basically giving it a basic capability of natural language processing. So Shaky can move, it can see and it can understand commands, but how exactly will it solve its problems? Let's have a look at how it will solve its tasks. The test room that Shaky was operated in looked like this, and Shaky knew that because he was given the basic floor plan without any other information but the rooms were not empty. There are red boxes and ramps scattered around the rooms. Whenever Shaky will come across an object that should not be there, it will add it into its digital representation of the rooms. Because Shaky already has an empty rooms mapped out, it has to use a pathfinding algorithm to search for the shortest path towards the goal. Easy, right? Again, no. Because all already existing algorithms were too inefficient, the researchers had to develop something from the ground up. Thus the A-star algorithm was born. This path search algorithm helps Shaky decide on the optimal path towards its goal. But what if the path is obstructed by a box, for example? Shaky will dynamically update its internal map and search for a new path according to the new changes made. This way Shaky is able to reach its destination or complete its objective. Shaky was a turning point in multiple fields, including robotics, artificial intelligence, computer vision, and natural language processing. Today, you can pay him a visit at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, where it is exhibited in an inactivated state. Thank you for participating, user. Hopefully, the information you have gained today will paint a better picture of the past of AI. Thanks for watching.